Hey guys, Vikas over here, and this is Vijay Genius. Guys, today I am again with a new video around ESP8266. We will see how to program the module by using Arduino IDE. So, as we know, the ESP8266 module by default supports 80 commands, but by using the Arduino Sketch, we can take advantage of the ARM core present in the module. There are also other language support like Lua or MicroPython, which can be used with ESP8266. But in this tutorial, we will focus only on Arduino. For this, we are going to use Arduino Core for ESP8266 module from the ESP8266 community available online on GitHub. And for this, we are going to need one ESP8266 module, one USB to UART converter that is 3.3 volt compatible, along with some bunch of jumpers and a 3.3 volt external power supply for the ESP8266 module. So remember guys, whenever you are going to use ESP8266 module, always prefer external power supply for the ESP8266 module and a 3.3 volt USB to UART bridge. So being said that, let's get started guys. So guys, to get started with programming the ESP8266 module with Arduino IDE, open up the Arduino IDE. Over here, select the port that is connected to your ESP8266 module. And over here, for my case, I have used one FTDI USB to UART converter that is connected to port number 16, COM16. So over here, just make sure you have selected the right port. Now, to check if we if we are able to access the ESP266 module from our PC, we can check like we can open up the terminal and we can press a tick. So it should so it should reply with a t plus okay that is. So we are ready to go. Our ESP266 is connected. Now under file go to preferences. And over here, uh, you need to put this URL over here that is for the ESP266 Arduino firmware. So, go like this and put it over here. Now, hit OK. Now, go to Tools, Boards, then Boards Manager. And over here, okay, it is a downloading platform index. Search for ESP266. Yep, this one. Select it. Now click on install. So this is again going to take some time depending upon your internet speed. So wait for completion of download and we'll continue further. So guys, after the installation, uh, let's go for the circuit and we'll connect accordingly and then again we'll try to upload some sketches onto the ESP8266 module. So the circuit connection looks something like this. Uh, this is over here is the USB to UART converter and this one actually is the ESP8266 module. So the only two connections that those are made are the TX to RX and RX to TX as usual for communication and programming and ground to ground so make sure whichever usb to uart converter you are using is 3.3 volt compatible if it is uh, like not compatible with 3.3 volt then that may damage your esp826 model so let's say you are uh, like having a 5 volt one then you can use some voltage translators like 3.325 and 5.3.3 over here on the rxtx pair so coming to the ESP8266 circuit, uh, this is like as usual ESP8266 connection where ground and GPIO15 are made ground, BCC is connected to BCC and CHPD pin and you can have a reset circuit connected to the reset pin from 3.3 volt to reset with a resistor of let's say 10k or 8k whatever you want 
and a switch in between reset and ground pin. So whenever you press the switch, the reset pin gets low voltage or gets low and this again resets the esp 26 module. So to make it programmable by like Arduino, IDE or something, uh, like instead of 80 commands, we need to have a, a ground connection from GPIO 0. So over here, I have connected one push button or the tag switch in between GPIO 0 and ground. So whenever you are like uploading sketch from your Arduino IDE to the ESP 26 module, you need to switch off the ESP 26 module, then hold this tag switch over here that is S2 connected between GPIO 0 and ground and switch on the module. So this will go into programming mode. Now you can upload your sketch and after that it will run automatically. So let's connect it physically and I'll connect uh, my ESP2 module through a USB2 UART bridge that is FTDI-FT232RL module. Uh, so if you are interested you can uh, go with that that is having two modes like you can have a 3.3 volt mode as well as 5 volt mode. So it's both, both way it is compatible. So let's quickly finish connections and get back to the ID and try to upload some sketches. So guys, this is the way that I have connected my ESP266 module over here to the USB UART bridge over here. So I am using my desktop power supply that is providing me 3.3 volt over here with this and I have soldered some wires onto the ESP266 module and just hanged up using the helping end and connected the RxTX pair to the FTDI USB to UART module I have over here. So these are the connections I have made. Let's get back to the ID and we'll try to upload some sketches. Now after the connection has been made, let's open up Arduino ID and over the ID, let's select the port uh, that you have connected with ESP266 like for me it is form 16 and under boards go for generic ESP8266 module now under examples uh, let's open up some example code or like uh, I'll just go with a blink example so this one over here As uh, my board is right now not having any LED, so this example will not run properly on my board. But still, uh, let's say we'll try to print some data on the serial console. That is, right serial dot begin. Nine six double zero and. Over here, I'll print out real dot print ln. Let's say I'll print out millis. The time that the Arduino has been up for. Okay. I'm not going to set this sketch. Uh, this is just a simple one. Now, the code after your sketch has been finished, or uh, you have. Uh, like program whatever you want now turn off the ESP8266 module and switch it on again by making the GPIO 0 to ground I have said earlier in the circuit so now my ESP8266 module is in programming mode now let's hit the upload button only Yeah, this is going to compile the sketch as usual with Arduino ID. Now it has finished compilation 
and it is actually uploading so again uploading may take some time as compared to other Arduino boards like you know or something else Now after it has successfully uploaded, let's open up the terminal and over here you can see it is printing out the time or the time that the Arduino has been on for like the total duration as we uh, did in our code. So guys that means uh, the, our code is successfully uploaded into the ESP266 and it is running successfully. So that's all with this for today. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.